I'm back y'all with another video. Welcome back y'all. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, come on in. Y'all know the vibes. All right, we're gonna get another reading. And let's see what, what messages we have. This message is a general reading, may or may not resonate with you. If it resonates, all the better. Okay. So, yeah, let's get into it. Let's talk. So, let's see what's going on with... Okay, we got Diamond Girl. Okay. Born to Shine. All right. I like that. I like that. So, y'all are some... Y'all are like the diamond. Okay. You are the top quality you are luxurious you're somebody's best thing that they ever had you was born to shine okay so yeah this is love story once upon a time so i'm hearing once upon a time you were somebody's diamond girl okay you were somebody top notch they looked at you as a diamond right what else This person hates nothing about you. They feel like you was born for you was born to shine. Okay, whatever good things are happening for you, you deserve it. This person say they hate nothing about you. Okay, I feel like this person ran away because they're toxic. Okay, I feel like they, this person is a coward. They're running away because they feel like they don't deserve you, and this person is in their feelings. They toxic. They do this to everybody. Like they are just toxic. They run away from something good every time they get in their feelings. So this person, like they know your potential. They know that you're the one. They know that you that that girl. You the one, right? But this person is just toxic. This person could be. <laughs> we got chill out. This person could be doing a lot of smoking, a lot of drinking, um, trying to calm their nerves because they don't want to hear it. We got don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear nothing. They don't want to hear nothing when it comes. They got they literally got their fingers in their ears. It's like, okay, yeah, I already know. I don't want to hear it. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to relax. They know that they're the reason that this connection is the way that it is currently. Okay. They know. They know that they fucked up. And they know that they're the reason that this connection fell apart. Now the reason that this connection could have fallen apart is because they tried to keep you a secret. They tried to keep you a damn secret. Wow. Because somebody that they were dealing with, who they were having sex with, Okay, it's insecure. So I'm getting that this masculine had to talk shit about you to make whoever this karmic is or whoever this other party is, they did that because this person that they were dealing with is super duper insecure with themselves. This masculine could be super duper insecure. But see, he's trying to ride it out, he's trying to ride it out with this karmic. But this person is a nightmare bitch, okay? This person that he's dealing with is a nightmare from hell, okay? They got anger issues. And we got sexual protection, okay? So this person, I feel like they're dealing with, they, they may be, you know, making sure that they, they strap it up, but I feel like they're dealing with somebody who is very insecure they're trying to burn some evidence as well too they're trying to find a way to get rid of some type of evidence uh, i feel like it could be some evidence of you which they tried to keep you a secret from this person they tried to keep you a secret 
because they know that this is you, diamond girl, born to shine. This makes this person that they're dealing with super duper insecure. And I feel like this, this person that they deal with is always talking about you, always bringing you up. And they like, I don't want to hear, don't, don't talk, you know. I hate nothing about this girl. I literally hate nothing about her. I literally hate nothing about her. I'm just in my feelings right now. I'm just in my feelings. But I feel like this masculine is super duper toxic. He got some 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 real funny ways about himself. And like I said, he smokes a lot, drinks a lot, do whatever he need to do to kind of numb himself because he know that it's his fault that this connection fell apart. He know that it's his fault. And I feel like this is something that he fights himself about every single day. Like I said, the person that he's dealing with, he's riding this out to the end. But this is a nightmare bitch from hell. She a nightmare bitch from hell. She got anger issues. She get frustrated. But this masculine is using some is using protection with this with this Cormie. But he's trying to find a way to get rid of some type of evidence of keeping trying to keep you a secret. How he feel about you a secret. He's trying to find a way to get rid of some type of evidence. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how he's feeling about this this Cormie. Why I keep hearing, maybe, baby, that's just why I love you so much. By Monica, that song keeps ringing in my head. You don't front him in front of your friends, and you find him with the be a real man. And I love you. This person loves the hell out of you. They love you, and I feel like they're trying to keep this a secret from the karmic. How do they feel about this karmic? I don't have much time, but can I see you real quick? Wow. This person is telepathically trying to communicate with you. It could be through song. Like I just said, I keep hearing that song, Monica, why I love you so much. Now we got, I know you telepathically hear and feel me and Karmic going through shit. So him and the Karmic going through it. Maybe going through it. I have personal reasons why I stay. The more you question that, the more I pull away. Mm -hmm. So he's dealing with this karma for a specific reason. Okay. But he does want to reach out to you. He, he does want to be around you. Because him and the karma are going through something. Let's see. What action is this masculine going to take? What's going on with this masculine? You, didn't have, you haven't heard from this masculine in a while because Mute was just literally just sitting there. Okay, so this masculine has, is, has learned some type of lesson. Spirit is working on this masculine. This masculine definitely tries to paint some type of picture of something being a certain way when it's really not. I feel like that's the lesson that he's learned, okay? Soulmate and Twin Flame. This masculine knows that you are their match, okay? They may not know too much about Twin Flame and Soulmate Journey, but they have this connection with you that they feel like even if I try to let this person go, I never can forget about them. I always think about them, okay? Offer. Okay, so this person, 
seems like they are coming towards you with some type of offer or they want to come towards you with an offer. But there's some deception going on, yeah. Yeah, there's some deception. They're doing third party. We got third party and deception right here. So this is why they're staying away from divine feminine. Look at this, solitude and divine feminine. So this is why they're staying away from you because they're dealing with third party. They may gave, may may have gave the offer that they want to give to you to a third party. But this is just a, some type of cycle. I'm going to clarify that because I want to know why the cycles is here. This is a full moon behind this, this in front of this person. So this is some type of cycle. Okay, now tell me why offer is here. Abandoned. So yeah, I feel like the offer that this masculine was going to give to you, he gave to the third party. And now he's sitting here spying on you, watching you from a distance. Tell me more about cycles. Awakening. So this is making this masculine realize more about himself. Okay. I feel like he's dealing with this karmic for material reasons because we got release and material world. So this masculine could be dealing with be dealing with this third party because of his finances, his financial situation. And now he's sitting here in regrets. Okay, sitting here having regrets. You're going through a whole metamorphosis. You're ascending. And like this masculine is like, dang, do I don't even, how do I even get back to that? Surrender, yeah. They're having regrets because they know that they have to surrender. In order for this connection to work or come back together. Yep, for a fresh start. Okay, so this masculine is very aware that he, you know, I see an offer got abandoned. I feel like he gave his third party this offer that he was supposed to give you. Why is observer here? Recognition. So this person is spying to see who is getting your attention, who you're connected to, who do you know. They're trying to see if you recognize what they got going on. Because this person really wants to compromise with you, but they're not sure. They're spying to see if you're dealing with someone. We got barrier. This person feels like you have a wall up. Okay, like you're guarded, you're too guarded. Okay, I see a commitment here. So this is what's blocking this commitment. This is what's blocking you and this person from coming together because they're dealing with a third party. They've been dealing with this third party ever since last year. We got fall, so it could have been like in the fall season. But they did this out of their pride and their ego. And they've been stuck ever since. They've been stuck ever since. I'm trying to prove a point that they got free will. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few of the tarot cards. Let's see what else we can dig up on this energy. What else is going on with this person? Show me this person. How does this masculine feel about not being in communication with divine feminine? What does he have going on? What are his thoughts about divine feminine? This one be jump. I'm getting hard headed. Somebody is real hard headed.
Tower. Wow. King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. This person is traumatized. I'm getting like, they're traumatized. They are stuck in their head, feeling so much guilt and regrets. They feel like it's their fault that the connection fell apart. It's going through this tower. So they their feelings of they have feelings of guilt. Nine of Swords, yep. This person is going through it. Okay. They betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. But I feel like they're trying to say that they didn't mean to. They didn't want it to go down like that. I feel like this person still has a lot of emotion and a lot of care for you with that Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. But I feel like there's some magic involved. The Moon, the Magician, and the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So there's some magic involved here. Okay. I'm getting this person is afraid. Maybe that magic is involved or the fool. Yep. This person is very much so on the edge. Okay. They're on edge. They feel like they need to slow down. They need to slow things down. I feel like maybe you block this person. Or this person just feels like you have this really big guard up. Yeah, I'm hearing this person does not see that. They don't feel like you're going to take them back. They're very, at, very much so at a crossroad. They don't feel like you'll take them back, even if they try. So they know that things fell apart. And then we got that five of swords because they was being petty and being hard-headed and felt like they could get whoever they wanted, whatever female they wanted, until they ran across somebody who wasn't who wasn't with the games. I'm hearing, dang man, not listening. Or listening to bad advice. You could be watching this person too. You could be keeping an eye on this person too. This person could be a Leo. With the sun card here. Or you're just kind of like, um, you know, getting the info, getting the tea. You, you you could be watching this person to see what they're saying. This person could be saying how they love this other person. How there's so much of a change. Man. This could be a Sagittarius. I'm getting that this person is hoping that you'll forgive them. Like they're this person wants you wants your forgiveness. They're kind of waiting for you to kind of show some type of sign or to heal from the situation. We got the Ace of Cups and the Strength card. I feel like they had a female in the cut the whole time, okay? They got somebody that they was feeling the whole time. This karmic could be a Leo or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but they had, some, they had a female in the cut the whole time. They want somebody... That they can go back to. Who they ain't got to ask for much. Who they can cheat on. Who they can tell everything to. And don't got to worry about it being repeated. Okay, so that's what this karmic is offering them. Like, doormat type of energy. Okay, this is somebody that they had in the cut for a while. So... I feel like now things are starting to fall apart. Yep. 
It fell apart because there was infidelity, there was lies, there was sneakiness, and there was just a lot of deception going on. So I feel like this person decided to drop the situation. This person wanted to tell everybody how they feel. They wanted to get something off their chest. Um, they didn't tell you to. They didn't tell you possibly face to face, but they had somebody that they was getting information from that was running back, telling them uh, things about you as well too. They had somebody that was reporting back things to them. Somebody that you may have thought was a friend. Oh. The relationship started to fall apart because of this third party. Okay, because this person, masculine, was dealing with a third party. I feel like this person did not want to slow things down while they were dealing with this third party because they were out here having fun. They did not care about betraying you at the time. Okay, they felt like things were forced. Um, I'm, I keep seeing magic being involved. I'm seeing magic. Um, Yeah, there's a lot going on. This person has anxiety when he, when they think about this situation. Yes, this was the Queen of Wands. They were dealing with somebody on the side. This is who they had who they were dealing with on the side. And the truth got out. Ace of Swords. You found out the truth about that about that third party. Who they was dealing with. It was supposed to be a secret, but the truth got out. Now we got the devil and the king of cups. This person is toxic, toxic as hell. And this woman, this man is a straight up womanizer. Okay. I'm here, but I wasn't enough for you. So why are you mad? Feel like you deserve better than go find him. Keep making your money. And I'm hearing they, they're telling the world that they're a changed man. Okay. So, this was past energy. They had somebody in the cut. And now they're sitting back having regrets about it. So, that's what I got, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. like the video share the video if you're interested in booking a reading guys the information is in the comment section is pinned down below all right until next time y'all ciao